Good time in federal prison for scamming Borsheims out of more than $100,000 worth of jewels almost two decades ago. Now investigators believe he's up to his old tricks again here in Omaha. Only this time, a suspicious employee decided to do a little detective work and turn the tables on him. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. She went to the feds with what she uncovered, and tonight, 51-year-old John Dewey Lim sits in the Douglas County Jail. New at 10, KMTV Action 3 News reporter Emily Zink has a story you'll see only on 3. I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is like, I totally want to do this job. A local woman who we will refer to as Lisa answered a Craigslist ad to be an assistant to a VIP executive named Stephen Chow. He looks the part of a VIP executive. Lisa interviewed, got the job, and was promised $180,000 a year plus benefits. Mr. Chow even insisted on upgrading her current car. You can't be picking up clients in that type of a vehicle. So you need a brand new vehicle. Mr. Chow told the dealership he'd wire them some money. Lisa drove a new car off the lot. Her old car? Well, Mr. Chow was driving it. I actually let him have my vehicle because he had said his daughters were using his vehicles. Lisa says shortly after the new car came the crazy request. He had me running around Omaha searching for a house. Not only was she house shopping, she had to pick up presents for Chow's clients. He promised to reimburse her. He said that the money wire didn't, hasn't come through yet, but he has one coming through of $3.5 million. After a short time on the job, Lisa realized something wasn't adding up. A simple Google search revealed a lot. His name is not Stephen Chow. His name is... John Dewey Lim. Lisa found dozens of online forums calling John Dewey Lim a con man who went by many aliases, including Stephen Chow. He scammed, I would say, thousands. Lisa knew Chow was staying in a La Vista hotel, so she took her car back from the hotel's parking lot. Inside, she found hundreds of documents that exposed Chow's fraudulent behavior. Authorities believe that John Dewey Lim, a.k.a. Stephen Chow, has scammed hundreds of people. Not only has he scammed them, he's kept a paper trail. Just check out this. Lamborghini in Las Vegas, here's wiring instructions to get a car. Even the purchase order for half a million dollars. After discovering the documents, Lisa got the U.S. Marshal's office involved. Lim had a warrant out for him in Kansas for trying to pass bad checks. Lisa worked with the local marshals to catch Lim Monday. You know, I just feel so stupid. Then I remember how the U.S. Marshals said, you busted him. You're not stupid. She knows she isn't the only victim. The more women that come forward, the better chance we have of him being behind bars for a longer amount of time. Anything else you want to add about this? If it sounds too good to be true, it is. Emily Zink, KMTV Action 3 News. John Dewey Lim is behind bars at the Douglas County Jail and is awaiting an extradition hearing. According to the receipts and papers Lim left in Lisa's car, she is not the only woman he scammed in Nebraska. Contact the Omaha Police Department if you think you were scammed by Lim. In